In question 14, we are given the function h of x is x squared plus 2 root 2 x plus k. We're told that this function has equal roots. As soon as we hit equal roots, we should be thinking about the discriminant. If it's got equal roots, if the function has equal roots, the discriminant will equal zero. So now we need to substitute the a, b and c elements into this, and that should allow us to solve for k. b is 2 root 2. and b is being squared. For a is equal to 1, and c is equal to k. And from the fact that there are equal roots, we know that this discriminant, which is substituted into, still equals 0. We now need to solve for k. 2 root 2 squared. That's 2 root 2 multiplied by 2 root 2. The 2's would multiply together to give a 4, and root 2 times root 2 is 2, 4 2's are 8. Simplifying this gives us 4k, and it should be evident by rearranging or otherwise inspecting that k equals 2. So we've now found k, and that was the requirement of part A. In part b, we're asked to sketch the graph of y equals h of x, clearly labelling any intersections with the coordinate axes. Now, since I now know that k is 2, I know it will intersect with the y-axis at 2. I'm also anticipating from the fact that I was told it was equal roots that it will touch the x-axis in one place but not cross it. We need to try and find out where that place is. We know that we're now equating this to y. And we know that k is equal to 2. We need to factorise this. And since we're looking for x-intercept, the y-value will be 0, and that will allow us to solve once we've factorised. Now, bearing in mind that we know that this is a repeated root, these two brackets should be the same. I need two numbers that will multiply to give me 2, and will add up to give me 2 root 2. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. Root 2 plus root 2 is the same as two lots of root 2, which is what we've got as our coefficient there, our value of b. And these are both positive. Solving these both give us the same solution, because they're identical brackets, and we have that x is equal to minus 2. So now I can sketch... The minimum point is at minus root 2, 0, and the y-intersection is at 2. Ooh, excuse me. 0, 2. Get the coordinates the right way around. This minimum point is also resting on the x-axis.